Hey there, it's Dr. Brian McKay from Neuropathy of Core Health. Just want to go over one of the uh, platforms of our treatment that we think is particularly effective, but I wanted to go in and show you in depth some of the, the uh, some of the programs that make Neuropathy of Core Health such an exciting program if you're tired of living with the symptoms of neuropathy. So look, learn, listen, and hopefully see you so soon. Here we are in, in more of the meat of the study. Now, like I said, it, it, don't be too offended by the uh, Iranian study. I think it's important just to get to the meat of this thing. And basically, it shows one of the primary problems with neuropathy, okay? Lack of sensation, you can't feel your feet or you feel pins and needles, you feel some sensory changes. But what I'm more concerned with here is how the balance is affected. You know, when you have balance issues, the risk of falling goes up. So what we have here is a real serious problem because if you can't feel your feet, you're more likely to fall. And we all know the falls lead to nursing home stays um, and, and morbidity. So there really is something here to be said. So if you see a lack of, lack of sensation as a symptom is almost more devastating than pain, okay? So let's just scroll down a little bit because I really want to show you Try not to get your eyes to things, but here, here's a summary of the strength, balance, and flexibility parameters before the middle and end of a six-week program. I want you to show you here, tibialis anterior is a, is a huge, all these leg muscles, tibialis anterior, quadriceps, and um, let's, let's go with just general strength. Look at the increases with just adding whole body vibration. So this is six weeks, they had, she a reduction in, in pain, but also better, better sleep is one thing you're going to have with our program anyhow. But we'll take a look here. You go from 3.3, 8.7, and 12.8. Now, is this indicative of everyone? No. It was a smaller study. Uh, we can't check the veracity, but pretty much researchers, regardless of what their countries are doing, are pretty serious about it. So if we can see increased strength, how are you going to measure increased strength? You can't. You're going to... But it's part of the whole program that we offer here at Neuropathy of Core Health. And I really think it's something for you to strongly consider. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail so we can explain this thing properly. But whole body vibration as part of your program, part of the protocol here at Neuropathy CT, is to get you stronger and get those get, get the muscles and things working properly. I'm going to show you in a little bit how it, how it applies to, to um, more, how it stimulates the, the cells in the, in, in the spine to send better signals to the, uh, to the nerves in the legs. The astronauts move effortlessly because there is no gravity, but when no effort is used, the stimulation for the bone structure is missing. As a consequence, similar to wheelchair users, they suffer from muscle weakness and bone abnormalities. The reason is that due to the lack of movement, the muscles begin to atrophy and the bones are not used enough. And this sends a signal to the osteoclasts to remove bone material. It will be taken away from inside. This cooperation between muscle and bone makes biological sense. This being bone prevention and rehabilitation concept. The speedy whipping movements of the plate are particularly important. These activate the muscles. The effect can be observed not only in the legs, but also in the trunk. This is extremely important for neuromuscular illnesses. These graphics show in a simple way how these automatic muscle spasms happen. The whipping activates the so-called spindles in the muscles and tendons. The spinal cord is informed about the change of body position by the nerves. The spinal cord activates and coordinates the muscles for balancing movements. The muscle contracts. This is repeated many times and results in the buildup of muscle.